In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to film a silhouette. A silhouette is a great tool that is used in photography and filmmaking. It's usually when you take the background and have it very bright while the main subject or the foreground is dark. This is also used for witness protection and it's great for a bunch of different scenarios, especially for music videos. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to Nanlite for sponsoring today's video. We are gonna be using their Forza 500 and their 19 degree projection projection mount. This is how you're going to get that cool shape, that circle in the background along with other different shapes along with gobos as well and you can definitely include that into your silhouettes. So to start off with staging your silhouette, I usually like to have a solid color background. For example, I have a white wall behind me and all we really need to do is shine a very bright light against the wall. Now, the key word here is bright. That's why I'm using the Forza 500 because this light packs a ton of power. And with a white wall, this is a great thing to do because we can easily overexpose this white wall and have a subject step in front of it and completely be in the shadows. Now here's the key factor here. Because I'm in a small room, this white wall will act as a bounce. So it's gonna reflect light throughout the room. So we're not gonna get a really good silhouette with a dark subject if there's light bouncing throughout the room. So what do we do? We have to drop the exposure in the camera. So I'm actually shooting these clips at F or aperture 18. This is the key here. Not only do we get a dark foreground or dark subject, but we also get an extremely sharp looking silhouette. For example, you can easily see each individual hair on my head. This is the key when filming a silhouette. You wanna keep the foreground or the subject really crispy and really in focus in order for this to become a successful looking shot. Now on top of using just a simple Forza 500 for example, you can add gels and you can add the projector mount as well to get more creative with your shots. Now words of caution here, if you're using a gel, make sure it's not too close to the actual chip or COB that's on the light because this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna melt your gel and cause a risk of fire. You do not want that on set. Even when using a gel on a projector mount, that's a little risky because that also heats up quite a bit. So make sure that you keep this gel at a rather good and safe distance away from the chip so that way it doesn't heat up and melt like this poor gel right here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I am in a small room, which is why I had to offset this projector and the Forza 500 off to the side. However, the circle that it's projecting onto the wall still looks like it's dead on. So that's what you really want. With these projector mounts, you need a little bit more space. And don't forget, you can always adjust the focus to make the gobo or the circle softer or sharper. As you can see, creating a silhouette is very simple and it can be used in so many different ways. So make sure you check out some of Nanlite's products by looking at the links down below. And if you liked today's video, please give it a like and subscribe with those notifications turned on and I'll see you in another video. Peace.